In part one of this three-part miniseries, we digitized, tested, and edited two rose designs. In this course, we'll take advantage of all that work to make two more rose variations. In part one, we covered a whole long list of decisions to finalize before ever digitizing that first object. We still have more decisions to make. In fact, we have decisions to make up through stitching and finishing a design. Digitizing and embroidery are creative processes, and we just need to make a lot of decisions. So we're going to think about how do we want to make these more interesting, and that would involve what stitch types, properties, effects, and of course, we need tools to do that with. So what we'll do in this course is we'll learn to use some new tools. We'll use the Create Outlines and Offsets tool, see if we can make things a little easier, and we'll use a few more digitizing tools, the Freehand Close Shape tool, we'll use Smooth Shapes in the Edit Objects toolbox, and we'll use the Circle Oval tool. And we'll also experiment with more stitch types, effects, and properties. So some of those are Florentine Effect, Ripple Fill, and Backstitch. And of course, there's finishing steps. And that doesn't mean we just leave the design when we're done. I like to do a little bit of cleanup and annotate it a bit. So with this course, you'll get five easy to follow step-by-step -step lessons. And of course, that includes the triad steps so that you can learn and apply the techniques on your own. Now you'll learn the most if you digitize these designs yourself, but we've also included two finished designs for you to take with you.